through on the software used with the Ultra Autocollimator. When purchased, there are two software packages pre installed the Ultra Autocollimator control software and the Electro Optical Analysis software. Both these packages have onboard help, which can be downloaded as handbooks for reference. Assuming you are aligned correctly to a mirror, the initial screen you should see is like this. Ultra Autocollimator software is now in play. You will notice when you place the mouse arrow over an icon, a message will appear advising you of the icon's meaning. Moving down the five icons on the left hand side, it is the settings icon that is of most interest at this stage. Here you can also choose languages, so user levels and other things such as beep levels and clearer long distance measurement. The next four horizontal icons control the display and include averaging functions, decimal places, units etc. as well as camera controls such as brightness and set zero and large digits on their own instead of a visual image and a smaller display. These four icons grouped together are the measurement input buttons. So now if the operator wants to measure standard applications such as straightness, parallelism or indexing heads, he must now move to the second software package the electro optical analysis package. So this screen will now appear. And as you move the mouse across the icon, a message will appear to explain the icon. We will look at the most popular measurement application, two axis straightness. Notice this software has the same home settings and help icons as the ultra autocollimator control software. So as soon as the measurement icon is pressed, the configuration screen appears for straightness measurement. Results can be shown in different formats with the most popular being the N0 or least squares. Axes can be inverted here. The right hand side shows the instrument being used. Data logging and choice of printout headings are also available in this section. We are now ready to measure the slide ray using the measure button. If checking squareness or parallelism, the software will compare the slope value of two previously measured lines. There is a more detailed video on measurement of machine tool slide rays on our YouTube channel. Another very popular application for the ultra autocollimator is for measuring polygons or indexing heads. For this application, we would use the ISO, DIN, and VDI standard enhanced polygon option. In essence, we would normally make five measurements clockwise and five counterclockwise, and then produce a whole host of statistics. Measurements can be vertical or horizontal. Different methods to input the results are available here. Firstly, by using the enter button or using just the timed results or the preferred settling time method. This is where the rotation of the polygon means the image goes out of range, and this sets the autocollimator to take the next reading as long as the image is stable for x seconds of time within a tolerance of x seconds of angle. For details on items such as the laser sighting aid and remote keypad and advanced communications, refer to the handle. Also, details on things such as the external trigger or outputting or control from an external source, again, please refer to the handle. And please, again, could we refer you to our videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for listening. For more information on this or other products, please go on to the Spectrometrology website.
Thank you very much. Thank you.